Welcome to another GDevelop tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use twin behavior. Okay, uh, I will try to explain uh, how twin works um, in a really easy and quick way. Uh, so twin is, uh, I don't know how to explain it to you. So twin is, are basically the steps in between two states of an object. So if we have an object here and we want to move it to this side, uh, with an animation, so twin is actually what creates this animation in between. And we have different types of twin, it can go just uh, with a linear animation, like from this point to this one, it can go like fast and then slower, it can bounce for example, so I'll show you how to do those things uh, in a moment. So as you can see it's a really simple scene here, uh, I just have two objects, so I just add my uh, character here, and I will execute all the twins on top of this. Uh, character and I add the button just to trigger different types of twins. Okay, so um, So the first thing we need to do is to add uh, Twin behavior to this one. So I just have a simple idle animation for this, but don't worry about that We go to the behavior here and add twin It has no settings no nothing to configure. So just leave it like that and uh, What I want to do here. So the first example I'm going to show you I want to change uh, the position of my character. So I will show you how to move like my character from here to here with a nice animation. Okay, so I leave my character here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I go to my events, add a new event and condition. So uh, we need to create all the conditions uh, for our button. So to make sure when we click on it, it does something. So when uh, so we choose our button and type here mouse and the cursor uh, touch is on top of our object. So this will uh, we are basically telling like when mouse is on top of our button, say OK. And at the same time we actually click. So mouse button pressed or held left. OK. And we also need to add trigger once. So then we make sure that uh, it will execute whatever we place here uh, just once every time we press uh, uh, our left button on the mouse. Okay, so these are all cool. Uh, what we want to do, we want to move the object. So we just add an action and choose our square dude. So now that we have attached uh, twin behavior to our object, we can actually have uh, all these options. And what I want to we'll choose here. So we want to move uh, our object on X axis so we just uh, so horizontally so we just choose this one okay uh, and we have a bunch of options here so um, first of all uh, twin identifier it, this is just a name for us to know which type of twin we're doing so I would say uh, we call this move uh, right because I will move my object to the right but it doesn't really matter, you can put any name here. And so it asks me also to which position. So we can put it just a number here. So, uh, but, uh, you know, I want to make sure that it doesn't matter where I move my object, it will move to the right by the same amount of pixels. So I'll just pick the current position of my object. So I'll just type uh, square dude. This is the name of my uh, character, for example. Uh, X so now I captured my position my current position in the screen and I add uh, some some amount of pixels so by how how far I want to move this object I'd say we just do uh, I don't know 600 so uh, and easing this is the fun part we can choose the type of animation we want to have here uh, we can just move it uh, linearly so it will just move with the same speed to the to one from one side to another so let me show you how that works and this is the duration so how long this should take and this is in milliseconds so if I want to have uh, if I want to move it like in I don't know two seconds I just type 2000 here okay so let's press OK and see what happens now so if my mouse is on top of the button if I uh, click with the left button and this is trigger once I move my object from its current position uh, by 600 pixels with this type of animation by this time, okay? So let's play and see. All right, it took two seconds to move it from one point to another and you see it created all the steps in between uh, uh, to move the object. But the animation is boring. I don't like this animation. I want to have something more fun here. I want to have like a bounce animation. So what I'm going to do here, 
and you can play a lot with this because there are plenty of animations here. I just choose, I don't know, uh, bounce. There is bounce, literally. So, uh, and I want to make it a bit quicker, so 1500. Let's press OK and play and see uh, if that's gonna be better. Oh yeah, that looks very nice. So um, we can choose another animation. Let's see. Let's see what else we can have here. We can have elastic. Okay. So let's just play that. Wow, that was really fast. Uh, maybe we should put like two thousand. So then again, you, you can really just play with this stuff like this. Okay. Uh, that's a nice animation. Maybe we can just choose less pixels and let's try move it by 400 at this point. Let's play it. Yeah, I think that's nice. Uh, I think that's a really cool animation and we just did it like with a few lines here and it was really fast and quick and the result uh, is cool. Uh, but uh, okay, let me show you also other types of twins we can do with this. So I just remove all of that and I choose uh, square dude twin and you have all the options here. Obviously you can pause, you can remove twin, you can stop it, uh, you can play with that yourself. But let's try this angle twin. I think this is a pretty cool one. So again, we have to fill some uh, numbers here and twin identifier I'll choose like rotate. So because I want to rotate my object. Um, let's say we rotate it by 90 degrees. Easing, I'll choose uh, elastic again. And maybe one thousand milliseconds so one second right so uh, then again if I press the button we rotate our object by 90 degrees um, using this type of animation and uh, for with this amount of seconds okay so let's try you see that was a really fast and nice uh, animation of rotating okay and it just literally rotated by 90 degrees but let's let's try to uh, I want to make it rotate uh, by 90 degrees every time I press the button so it doesn't matter how, how much is rotated already so the way I'm going to do that uh, it's really similar to what we did with the position uh, so we will add 90 degrees all the time to the current um, to the current rotation of our object so we just type dude square dude is my object dot um, angle so we pick the current angle and we add or subtract whatever you want 90 degrees okay and let's see how that works okay now each time we rotate our object by 90 degrees just like this you see uh, and I think that's pretty cool animation let's see what else we can do uh, let's try to uh, color we can actually change color as well uh, with a twin so um, let's just change the identifier to color to color and the way the color works it's written here so we have a number for red a number for green and a number for blue and we just mix them up and make uh, our own color so so i want to make it very red so i'll just put 255 here and quite bright so i can just put i don't know 150 oh sorry i made a mistake here 150 and, and 200 here this should make it quite red and type of animation i'll just choose uh ease out quad this should make like you know um really fast transition and slow down at the end so that's what it should do and i just choose 2000 to look at it better so let's see what happens See, it became more red. Obviously, you need to play with those values for the color. Uh, you know, I don't know exactly how to uh, get the color I want, uh, but you, you can play around with that. Uh, but another thing we can do as well, uh, let me reposition my object to here in the middle. We can actually mix the mix up uh, different twins. So at the same time, we can make happen another twin. So if I add another one here, so square dude, um, twin, um, and let's add angle twin again so say rotate and we rotate it by 90 de degrees easing uh, let's do I don't know swing too I don't know what it does but we can try 
and 1500. Okay, so now it should change the color and rotate our object with some animation. Okay, let's play it. Just like that. This was uh, a bit slow, but you get the idea how you can animate stuff uh, with Twin, and it's very, very easy. Just like this. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what else we can do? We can actually scale it up as well. Let's try to scale it up. So, we, we can ch check uh, uh, our square dude again, and then try to find scale twin. Scale twin, exactly. So, um, twin identifier, we, we, sh we could call it scale. Uh, Square dude, we can, we can check uh, uh, the current scale of our object, so just type scale x and we add 0.1, okay? So I just copy this entire line, I just paste it here and just replace y, so we scale it on both axes. Easing, let's choose elastic and 1000, okay? So let's see if that works. So it should rotate, scale, and change color. Uh, yes, it grown by a little bit. So now the only thing we do, like you know, every time I press press the twin button, it adds scale by 0 0.1. Uh, I think we can increase it by literally one. Let's try one. Okay. To see better the animation. You see. Um, maybe we should add duration. So you see, you can play a lot with this to get the uh, desired uh, result. Just like this. It's a really nice animation. You can use this for, like, I don't know, for UI, for example, to transition between things. You see? I think this is a pre pretty nice uh, thing that you can use uh, in all of your games. Um, a little bit more practical, let's try to actually animate uh, our button here. So I'll just show you actually on how you can do this stuff on the UI. Uh, so obviously we need to add the behavior here, add the behavior uh, twin. Okay, leave it like that. And I want to make sure that uh, whenever, so what I'm going to do here, when my mouse will be uh, on top of this button, I want it to um, change the scale so it will become bigger with some sort of animation. And when I take my mouse out of the button, it will go back to the, to the initial position. Okay, so uh, let's start to do that. I add another condition, and let's say when um, button, okay, and the mouse is on top of the button, and we make sure this triggers once. Trigger once is true. Uh, we choose our button and choose a scale twin. Scale and say mouse on top. Uh, and I scale it to, I don't know, uh, 1.2. Same thing here, 1.2. Easing elastic, I like that one. And I'd say this should be like 1000. Okay, so let me see if that works. Yeah, it becomes bigger with a nice bounce animation. So if I want to make it go back, I just copy this entire thing. Copy and paste. And invert the condition here. So when mouse is not on top of the button, okay, so this is inverted, we scale it back to one, to the default value. With the same animation, uh, we can just maybe change twin identifier, so mouse not on top. Amazing name. Okay. Let's see if that works. And we have a nice animation here on the button. This is our animation, right? Obviously, you can make it better, just play with this, you know. But I think it's pretty nice and quick to do. And we click our button and we get our animation on the object. Uh, other things you can do with this, like obviously other than UI, you can actually um, create, um, for example, if you're working on a platformer game, you can create a dash animation or functionality or feature for a game, right? So uh, let me just quickly show you how you can do it. So I go to my scene and I just create a platform quickly. Uh, tiled sprite, create, uh, and I just 
do it very simple like this. Let's me call it uh, platform. And just put it here. Okay. And uh, so I will add to my object a platformer character. Okay. And I'll set this to platform. Add a behavior platform. Apply. Okay, so my object should walk on this really slowly, you see. And now what I'm going to do is like when I uh, press this button, it will dash to the, to the side, to the current direction. So if you go here, I press this button, it should dash basically uh, to this side. If I go to this side, it will dash to the other side, okay? Uh, so we need to make sure that um, uh, when we press the button, we we'll also know in which way we are going. So I can simply just here add key. When key is pressed uh, right, okay. So if we click on the button and uh, our uh, right key is pressed, we can dash, right? So I just choose my object and say change the X position. So. I call this uh, dash right, and we move it like we pick uh, our current x position of the object. Uh, first of all, so square root x, and we by how much we want to move it. I don't know. Uh, let's say 300 pixels to the right. Okay, it's because we're pressing the right button. Easing, uh, we can do whatever we want here. Uh, I don't know. Let's just out cubic something like this and duration just very quickly 250 I think that's gonna be all right okay so let me see if that works so I'm moving so moving my object to the right and I press the button hop it moved to the right really quickly that's kind of a dash animation right so if you want to make it to the other side so just copy this entire thing um, and paste so oh actually uh, even better we can uh, create a subcondition here. Okay, so uh, let's remove this for now. Uh, okay, so and create a new event and just drag it here to the right. So first things that will happen are those three. And if uh, button, uh, sorry, if key is pressed, and let's say uh, right, the right key is pressed we execute this, so just drag it here, okay? And uh, let's copy this entire thing, copy and paste, and the same thing for the left button. So now we choose here left, okay? And just modify this as well. So we will move it uh, to the other side, so we just don't do plus 300, we do minus 300, okay? So basically what we did here, uh, we have all these conditions, so when mouse is on top of the button, when we press it, and we have the right key pressed, we will move it to the right with this twin. If the left key is pressed, we will move it to the left with this twin, okay? So let's see if that works. Okay, and then I go to the other side, and dashes to the other side, you see? Just like that. So this is a very, very simple and basic example that how you can do dash with twin, for example. And I show you as well different types of twins. Um, and uh, I hope this is a little bit more clear now how to use this. I think this is very useful for any type of game you might work on. I, I use twin a lot. It really adds uh, really nice uh, movement to the whole interface or to the game. So, uh, and, I, and, I, and I hope this was helpful. I hope uh, you like this tutorial. And uh, if, if you like it, uh, just please uh, subscribe, like this video. Um, please follow me on Twitter as well. And you can join my Discord server for more stuff. And uh, see you again next time.